Bavuma hits back with 100 after Derbyshire dominate morning. Derbyshire welcomed Northants to Queen's Park in Chesterfield after a hard-fought win against Worcestershire last time out, took them up to third place in Division 2, while visitors Northamptonshire had to be content with a draw against Lancashire. The Northamptonshire openers made a rapid start as 20 runs came up from the first four overs, with Newton and Vasconcelos finding the rope regularly. But Derbyshire were able to rein in the run rate somewhat, and Rample had Newton caught by deploy. Vasconcelos hit back a boundary off Hudson Prentice, and then two from consecutive Rample deliveries in the following over. But Hudson Prentice got his own back when he removed Proctor. And North Ants were suddenly in trouble when Reese pinned Vasconcelos in front for 30. But the run rate dried up as the session wore on, as just two runs came up from the next eight overs before Bavuma broke the shackles with a four in the over before lunch as North Ants reached the interval on 66 for three. Bavuma and Keo went back on the attack as the afternoon session began with Bavuma sending Kadri to the rope from consecutive deliveries. And Bavuma then picked up three more fours from a ramp all over as the partnership began to motor along. Bavuma moved past 50 before Reese had Keo caught by Deploy. But Bavuma counter-attacked further in partnership with new batsman Rossington, finding the boundary at will as 40 runs came up in the six overs after Keo's dismissal. The South African clattered Critchley for a maximum in consecutive overs, while Rossington scored at better than a runner ball. But Critchley hit back when he removed Rossington caught and bowled for 38. Bavuma remained to reach his second successive century for his county soon after as the runs continued to arrive quickly. Josh Cobb came to the crease and picked up where Rossington had left off, announcing himself by smashing both Critchley and Cadry for six before the tea break arrived, with Northants having recovered well in that session, scoring nearly 200 runs in the session. But Cobb had to go in the first over of the evening session when Critchley hit back to have him caught by Hudson Prentice. But the wicket failed to stem the flow of runs as Safe Zabe and Bavuma continued to find the fence with ease and push their side beyond 300 with a series of boundaries. Critchley hit back again though to pin Bavuma LBW and the South African had to go for 134. Cantry bowled Safe Zabe soon after for 31. But once again the wicket brought little respite for the Derbyshire bowlers as the new batsman Coles hammered 20 off his first six balls. Another maximum for Coles soon after saw him move to 26 off just eight balls but Critchley accounted for him with the next ball and the mayhem was brought to an end in the following over when Kadri had Hutton caught by Madsen to wrap up the North Ants innings for 342, an excellent comeback after they were in trouble in the morning session. Hutton was able to make the breakthrough in just the second over of the Derbyshire reply when he bowled Reese. But Madsen held firm with a couple of boundaries late in the day to see his side to the close without further loss on 34 for 1. They'll resume on day 2 with plenty of batting to do.